Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Xiaomi Feimi Gimbal. Uh, this is specially made for the Xiaomi Mi Drone 4K. It will not work with the uh, Full HD camera model. So let's see what we get in the box with it. Actually this is not a gimbal, it's just a handle for the gimbal because the camera has the gimbal integrated. So this looks like a, let's call it lightsaber. It has a joystick here, two buttons here, it has a microphone here, a screw mount, it has a cap for a micro USB port for charging, it has a, a slider switch here with a plus minus, a jack for connecting your microphone, a push button with M labeled on it, it also has another cap here with another screw mount. This is nice because you can put this on a small tripod and hold it that way. And of course it comes with a protection cap which I'm going to remove right now. So this will untwist. You just press this button here, untwist it and you get access to the contacts. The same now applies for the camera. It somewhere has a push button. Here it is. We are going to push this button and unscrew the camera. It will come off from the dampening plate of uh, the gimbal. So all the motors are here. It's the EO motor here. The pan and tilt motors are also here. So this is actually the gimbal and the camera. This is just a handle for it with the power supply. Right. When you are connecting this, you should take caution uh, not to bend these pins. Uh, it also uh, made, uh, let's say, foolproof because here you have this uh, small pin here, small pin here, and this bigger pin here, plastic pins. And also this has a larger cutting here and two smaller ones. So this just fits over those cuttings. You press it and twist it into position until the arrow here locks into position and the button pops out right away and now the gimbal is assembled and ready to be powered on and hopefully it works so I'm going to press the power button and now it's starting it has initialized already and you can also hear the camera fan which is weird because usually you don't want any kind of noise on a gimbal uh, there are problems with gimbals that uh, record uh, the motors uh, from them on the camera. Well, this one, beside having three motors, it also has a cooling fan. So the microphone here will probably pick it up and create a very annoying uh, sound. Right, so I'm going to open the app on my mobile phone. It works with the same drone app uh, you are only going to select the gimbal but uh, before that I'm going to uh, test to see what these buttons do so the joystick will of course your the direction of the camera and this one is for tilting up tilting down this button here the M button will lock the tilt of the gimbal and as long as you keep it pressed, the camera will stay oriented in the same way. Uh, sorry, by keeping this pressed, I have also pressed with my arm, the with my palm here, I have pressed the power button and shut it off, so I'm going to turn it back on. And it's working back again and by double kicking this button here it will auto level the gimbal as normally this gimbal is in follow mode so where you orient it either it's up or down left or right the gimbal will follow your movement and slowly come into that position so if I'm in a weird angle like that and that's the position I like to hold the gimbal steady I can double press this button and the gimbal will now be level at least that's the new level of the gimbal and the gimbal will always keep that uh, same tilt that was pre-programmed 
when I double press this. So now if I want to keep the gimbal straight like that, I can double press it again and I have a new horizon set. If I want to film like that, I can double click it again and I can hold it like that when filming. So it's nice because uh, sometimes you don't want to walk with a gimbal like that on the street. Maybe it's more convenient for you to keep it like a, a flashlight like that and you can film. You have also uh, this button underneath so you can control it uh, from that direction. So it's up to you. At least they gave us that functionality. So let's now see the app and what it does. In case you are wondering, there's also a manual included in the box. The good thing about it is that uh, it's actually in English. It has some nice uh, drawings here. It will show you how to operate the gimbal and the main function of the switches and buttons. It will give you some specifications and some tips of how to use it. And that's about it. There's no information about the application and how to operate the app. That's it. it's up to you to find out. So I'm going to open the app. Let's see, I'm connected to the gimbal. Yes, you are going to connect to the gimbal using wireless. It's the same password like on the mid-drone. I'm going to open the app. And you have the option to select the mid-drone or the uh, gimbal. Now I'm going to press next. I'm already connected to the gimbal wireless. And it's now connecting to the camera. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I have image on the screen. I can say that even if I move this not like a gimbal and not like a camera it's doing a very good job it's reacting very fast to my uh, movement and it provides very smooth result which i'm very pleased to see the app seems very simple it only shows ev here the battery level of the gimbal it has a picture button and the video camera button so you can change the working mode uh, it's related to these buttons here as you have a video recording button and a picture button. This is the gallery where you can access uh, the stored content on the camera micro SD card which is very nice. You don't have to download them. You can download them but you can also see them directly through uh, the wireless connectivity. And we have settings here which is the most important thing about this gimbal. In the settings we have camera settings and we have resolution, photo size, photo format and format micro SD card. Well that's a bit less than I was expecting. Let's see further. So we have joystick settings. You can reverse its movement and that's it. Oh come on, that's that's not enough. Where are the camera settings? There's no camera settings here. So what's wrong with it? Actually, it's missing the camera settings that you have on the mid-drone. And I mean, where is the saturation? Where is uh, the contrast? Where is the sharpness? Where is the white balance? There's not. It's only the EV. And the EV, it's changeable by this red slider here. Uh, you can increase it or decrease it but that's it nothing more uh, so it's not funny because you need those settings a lot they are very needed and actually uh, the mid drone is uh, missing some camera settings like shutter speed and ISO sensitivity which are very important because you can use them in uh, long exposure photography. The drone is very stable and you can uh, take uh, night photos with it. You can do it a DJI, why not with the mid drone? Especially that the camera performs very good and the drone is very stable. You could do some longer exposure photos or at least adjust 
the camera shutter speed as you need to in some situations where those settings are not present at the moment but all the other settings are missing from the camera app for the gimbal so I do hope there's an update coming because I'm kind of disappointed by this also there are no programmable working modes for the gimbal I would like to see maybe an assisted pan uh, so the gimbal could move from left to right very easy while it takes photos that's an idea I would like to maybe not hold this button pressed to lock the tilt and maybe have an option to always lock the tilt and not needing to reset this to horizontal and lock it again so there are a lot of features that I want to see in this gimbal working to actually call it a proper camera and gimbal combo I'm definitely going to test this against other gimbals such as a Failutech gimbal and I'm going to compare how they work uh, against each other to see uh, how well they do their gimbal uh, stabilization and I'm probably going to include also a regular camera with no stabilization to have an idea how uh, uh, a gimbal will improve the footage or not uh, we are going to see that in another test so until then I really do hope to see an update coming soon for this and uh, at this current state sadly I'm really disappointed by it I was expecting a lot more uh, maybe the hardware is good maybe the stabilization is nice but without settings it's not a usable camera I cannot do much with it yes I can walk in the street I can get some smoother footage but that's not what I want I need more control over the camera so until uh, the next update hoping that it will come soon or until uh, the comparison test be sure to follow my next uploads and uh, see you then until then bye bye